Hello all, welcome back to this session on RISC-V Instruction Set Architecture Processor Design. So in this session, we will start with the discussion on jump instructions in RISC-V. So jump instructions in RISC-V are used to alter the flow of execution by setting the program counter to a specified address. So these instructions can be unconditional jump or conditional, allowing the execution of a different code path based on certain conditions. So the main jump instructions in RISC-V are jump and link instructions and jump and link register instructions. So basically in this jump instructions, what happens is uh, the address for the program counter to be jumped. So uh, in the instruction itself, the immediate address will be provided. The immediate address is provided in the instruction itself, in the instruction itself. Okay. So what happens? Uh, this address is of uh, 20 bit okay so in the case of immediate instructions that address is just 12 bits whereas in case of this jump instructions the address is 20 bit so what happens is uh, the user will uh, provide the address to which uh, uh, the program counter should be shifted so for example if the program counter is in the address 0 so in the jump instruction itself if the address is specified like 20 or 40 uh, the program counter will be jumping to that specific address okay so the program counter will be uh, jumping towards the specific address provided in the uh, instruction. Okay. So this is jump instruction. So there are two types of jump instructions. One is jump and link instruction and another is jump and link register instruction. So JL instruction, the opcode is double one zero triple one and there is no function three and format is J type uh, description. So jumps to a target address and store the written address in rd so what happens if the program counter uh, is jumping say from address 0 to address 20 so this 20 address is uh, given in the instruction itself so in the instruction itself the address is given to which uh, address the program counter should jump that address is provided in the instruction itself so the return address will be stored in destination register called rd okay so the return address in this case the return address is 0 for example, if the program counter is in address 4 and if it jumps to uh, 55 address location, so the written address or the previous address is 4 that will be stored in the RD. So in future, if it wants to come back to the written address or the initial address, it can come back by using this RD register. So this is a uh, written address and JLR, which is jump and load, uh, sorry, jump and link register. The opcode is double one double zero triple one, uh, and the function three is triple zero, and it is uh, it comes under I type. So jumps to an address specified in a register and stores the written address in uh, R. So here what happens uh, in the case of jump instruction? What what is happening in the case of jump instruction is the uh, address is specified in the instruction. The address is the address is specified in the instruction. Whereas in case of uh, jump and link register. Whereas in case of JALR instruction, what happens? The address is specified in the register. The address is specified in the RD register. So using this address, the program counter will be uh, pointing. So for example, if the program counter is at address location 4, so uh, to which address it should jump, that information will be provided in the RD register. So depending upon the RD register value, so if it is say, uh, Five, so the program counter will increment 4 plus 5 which is 9. So like this uh, it will be shifting okay. In case of jump what happens if the pro, uh, immediate in the immediate address if it is written uh, in the immediate address the value 5 is present so and the program counter is at address location 0 so it will be equal to pc is equal to 0 plus 5 which is it will go to address location 5. So like this jump and jump link uh, register instructions works. So let us see in detail about jump and link instruction. So the opcode is double one zero four ones. So JL instruction performs an unconditional jump to a target address. There is no condition whether you should meet a criteria uh, like while condition. There is no uh, or if else condition, nothing like that. So if you will directly provide an address, it will go to that. Uh, it will the program counter will be updated to that address. So JL instruction performs an unconditional jump to a target address so it also stores the written address the address of the instruction following the jl 
in a destination register RB. We have discussed in our previous slides. So this typically use it for function calls where the return address is saved for later use. So this is the format for uh, jail instruction where the immediate value is of uh, 12 bit and the RS1 is uh, 5 bit. Function 3 is 3 bit. Uh, this is for JLR function 3 and RD is 5 bit and opcode is uh, 7 bit. So this is jump and link uh, register x1 8 of x2 okay so this is the instruction for this is the instruction format for jal and this is the instruction format for jalr okay so in case of jalr the immediate value is of 12 bit only whereas in case of uh, instruction jal the immediate size value is 20 bit remaining all is same. So in the case of uh, JL instruction, the immediate encoding is uh, uh, immediate of 20 is uh, bit 20, 10, to, 10 down to 1 is uh, 10 down to 1 like this, uh, the instruction is uh, divided. So the immediate value, <coughs> yeah, this is the format for JL, JL x1 comma label. This in the case of this label will provide the uh, immediate value. That's it. It's a simple instruction. Okay. So this is about jump and link register, we have, which we have discussed in our previous slide. Also. So this is all for today's session. So in this session, we have seen about uh, jump and jump and link register instructions in RISC file. So with this session, we have completed all the types of instructions in uh, RISC file uh, base ISA, 32 bit RISC file base ISA. So yeah. So that's all for today's session. Thank you. So. In the upcoming sessions, we are going to start with the Verilog coding uh, by taking reference of this uh, RISC-V base ISA, 32-bit RISC-V ISA. Okay. Thank you.